At the Lahontan National Fish Hatchery Complex in Gardnerville, Nevada, we work to restore a unique strain of threatened Lahontan cutthroat trout to their native waters of the Truckee River Basin and Pyramid Lake. Since 1995, we have maintained a genetically unique broodstock of Pilot Peak Lahontan cutthroat trout. These fish most closely represent the lake form of large trout that once existed in ancient Lake Lahontan more than 10,000 years ago. Spawning takes place weekly during the spring spawning season between February and May. Hatchery staff and volunteers start the weekly spawning by collecting seminal fluid, called milt, from carefully selected male Lahontan cutthroat trout that we have here on station. The fish are first safely anesthetized for handling and electronically identified before the process begins. We keep the fish relatively dry to make sure water doesn't naturally activate the milt too early. The fluid is carefully collected into a tube that is specially marked with each male's unique pit tag identification number then mixed with a buffer solution and stored for later pairing with eggs from a genetically matched female. The process for females is similar. They're first sedated, scanned, and their information recorded. Then we collect their eggs into large Ziploc bags. Although not every one of them becomes fertilized, a single female may hold as many as 3,000 eggs. The eggs are immediately paired with the milt from their genetically matched male, and the combination is activated with water. For exactly two minutes, the contents of the bags are mixed so fertilization can occur. Then they're rinsed three times so that any remaining milt and damaged eggs are discarded. Once collection is complete for both the males and females, they're returned to a tank where they'll rapidly recover and await next year's spawning season. Genetic pairing is done before spawning takes place and is carefully tracked using special computer software. Conservation genetics is the most important aspect of what we do at the hatchery. It ensures that we are conserving the unique genes of the Pilot Peak strain of Lahontans for reintroduction and recovery in its native range. The fertilized eggs are first water hardened in an iodine solution and placed into trays where they will sit untouched for 14 days until they are ready for shocking. When eyes develop in the eggs, they are shocked by pouring them from one bucket into another from a specified height. This turns any unfertilized eggs white and helps us sort out the healthy eggs for continued incubation. At 28 days, the eggs hatch and fry are held in a tank for 14 more days relying solely on their yolk sacs for nutrition. At 42 days, the yolk sacs are completely absorbed and the fry are ready to start eating specially developed food that we give them hourly. When the fry are six months old, they're moved to long tanks called raceways that allow them to grow as they test out their rapidly developing juvenile swimming skills. When the fish are between six months and one year old and five to nine inches in length, they are ready for stocking in high priority conservation waters throughout the Truckee Basin. On stocking days, the fish are loaded into a hatchery truck and delivered to designated stocking points. On a typical run to Pyramid, as many as 10,000 fish can be stocked into the lake. Once released, the Lahan cutthroat trout can grow half an inch each month and reach adult sizes of up to 40 pounds. Every year, the hatchery raises and releases 300 to 400,000 Lahontan cutthroat trout. The goal is to use these genetically distinct fish to recover the species, bring back the river's natural ecosystem, and restore one of the most unique and prolific large trout fisheries in the world. It's no wonder we've been called the wildest fish hatchery in America.